How's it going, people at home? It is Vapor on the mic here to commentate winner's finals uh, at Smash on the Harbor number. Looks like we have Balo and Asprey uh, rocking the Incineroar. Uh, definitely one of the characters that uh, <laughs> he's very strong to say the least. And I, I think he suits Asprey quite well. Uh, by the looks of it, it seems that uh, four is even. And right now, Asprey is actually up in uh, percent. And yeah, yeah, that's a that's a bread and butter from Wolf. Good tech chase. Calls out the jump. Yeah, I think uh, he wanted to try to get Asprey going low, so we could just seal out that stock super early. Not falling for it though. Does get hit by the down smash, however. And we are back to an even game. That back air is so strong. And honestly, one of the reasons that I feel I struggle against a, lo a lot against Wolf on Kalos especially, and maybe why one of his better stages, his jump, like if you're on that platform, his jump follows it to that back air really, like, consistently. And, uh, wow. Hits him with the Asprey. So it is 2-1 for Balo right now. But, uh, oh, hi, Adam. Good to see you in the... Yeah, uh, in the chat. When are you going to come back to the Discord server? Why is everyone leaving the Discord server? All right, we are going to see FD for our game number four. Start the battle. All right. Incineroar versus, I assume, Wolf. Balo is the absolute worst for this. He gets like, so, Balo... Halo somewhere, he, I guess in somewhere in the rule. They, whoever they is, said that you get a full minute between matches. So, Balo milks the heck out of that. And... Anyway, so... Back to FD. Back to FD? I don't know what the whole entire set went. Anyway, 2 FD. Uh, Asprey with the really good juggles. That F smash could have been very bad business for Balo, but manages to avoid it. And yeah, goes for the area, but unfortunately doesn't get the invincibility part. Uh, and he gets the spike. That's going to be enough. And Cerner fortunately doesn't have the best, uh, the best recovery. Yeah, get, gets the down throw into dash stack. It's a little ambitious trying to get the second dash or grab. But yeah, that's a oh he misses his punish. He wants to punish with the back air, but unfortunately he didn't quite get it. And yeah, Asprey's gonna make that back. A little scary, but he does. Yeah, double down smash before he can even grab the ledge. Uh, and yeah, he wanted the tech roll in. I think anybody would have wanted the tech roll in there. And Asprey is going to take it. Oh, not going to take it with the nair. Is going to take it with the nair. And we are back to even stocks. And I, I would say this is definitely Balo's advantage right now. But Asprey is that kind of player who he hits you with something really hard at really low percent. And then you feel really bad about it. But people love it. <laughs> Even if it breaks your soul a little bit. Anyway. Um, good. 
down air, snuffing out the, uh, the up smash that would have taken the sock. That dash attack is not going to do it. It's a sour spot. Yeah, that dash attack is going to do it, though. So Asprey has some ground to cover. Oh, Dion away. Good to uh, good to do that so he doesn't get anything. Asprey going off stage, but Balo is a little savvy about that. I, I think uh, I think uh, one of the mind games with Incineroar, you don't expect him to go off stage, so you don't expect to have to like tech in this like tech a stage spike in this matchup. But then Asprey is that kind of player who he throws you off, and he does it when you don't expect it. And he also does that, which uh, he's very, very good at those trumps. In a game where nobody goes for them anymore, Asprey will land them consistently. Uh, is that laser? No. I thought the laser might have gimped him, but not quite enough. All right, so this is still an even game. And uh, yeah, hits him with the force palm right in the right in the happy zone. And... That's going to be 3-1 for Bailey. Baylo moving on to Grand Finals. 